What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, reviewing today, Castle Crashers Remastered. Way back in 2008, the gaming world was rocked by one of the biggest indie hits of its time, and now, seven years later, we're finally getting an updated version for the Xbox One. People who grew up with games like Golden Axe or Streets of Rage are going to feel right at home with this old school style beat em up. Castle Crashers is all about one thing, teaming up with your friends to beat millions of small, cute monsters to death. The game opens with a mysterious wizard flying in and stealing your kingdom's crystal, along with all of its princesses. Since your job is a knight and you're supposed to be protecting the castle, it's now your task to rescue all of them at any cost. This is a pretty daunting task, but luckily, our characters aren't defenseless. You have a large number of attacks at your disposal. Being a big-headed brawny badass, you can use strong attacks, fast attacks, ranged attacks, or some special magic attacks, and each one varies slightly from character to character. For example, if you choose the Green Knight, you can use a magic spell that'll poison and slowly drain your attackers of their life. Or if you want, you can choose my favorite character, the Purple Knight, who for some reason has a spell that lets me summon a frog to tongue punch somebody. As you play through each of the 36 stages, your fighter will level up, giving you access to even more attack combos and the ability to drop talent points into strength, speed, or magic. To add further customization to this awesome gameplay, you also have a wide selection of weapons that you can find and unlock, along with these tiny pets that will fly along and help you in battle. While many of these changes seem small, they actually add a lot to the fun. Making my character an absolute powerhouse who can only get hit once adds to the thrill, or I'll level up my magic all the way at the beginning so that I can throw humongous spells way before I'm supposed to. Even just five or six levels in, I started to notice how different all the characters would be. The people I'd team up with chose wildly different specs than I did, and because of it, we were very different characters on the battlefield. In most of this gameplay, you're seeing me team up with other people, and I think that's almost mandatory. While it is possible to beat this game alone, you have to repeat a lot of stages to gain extra vital levels. Playing online with knights around the world worked exceptionally well 90% of the time. Occasionally though, I'd join a game that was extremely laggy, and I'd find myself being unable to dodge even the simplest of attacks. To keep you from getting bored, each of the 36 stages are very different. I mean, at one moment you could be fighting in the rain against weather commanding sheepmen and the next minute you're hopping into a catapult to be shot into an enemy base. You just never know what to expect. The true highlight of these stages though comes from the boss battles. Every major level ends with you and your friends being confronted by a huge adorable bad guy. Sometimes it's a mutant cat in a river that you need to fight from rafts, or another time you could be fighting against a tormented knight playing an organ covered in cannons. The game embraces and celebrates its cartoon style, showing us crazy violence in such a cutesy fashion that you get addicted to quick. What makes this remaster stand out the most though is the new 1080p 60 frames a second resolution. Seeing the hand-drawn animations really pop out on the Xbox One is truly amazing. Along with the shiny new graphics, this version comes with all the stages that were previously DLC in the Xbox 360 release. There's also an all new mini game exclusive to this remaster. It's like a giant board game where you and your friends are trying to hop around and avoid monsters as long as you can. These changes to graphics and new added little tweaks and whistles are small, but the game itself is still just as fun as it was when it came out all those years ago. This game is proven to still be one of the best multiplayer beat-em-ups of all time. Okay, so we've heard some good and a little bad, but let's head over the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Castle Crashers Remastered an 8.5 out of 10. If you and your friends love multiplayer action adventure, I highly recommend this game. 
As a cool bonus, those who bought this game on the Xbox 360 back in the day, well guess what? You can get this game for free. As long as you log in on your Xbox One and download it before September 21st, it's totally free of charge. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. Please like this video, leave me a cool comment, and share it with your friends. If it's your first time watching, please subscribe. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.